Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you the brand new Lightroom workflow from SleekLens.com and that is called the Superior Interior Collection. This collection mainly focuses on real estate photography. Uh, it does a lot of interior stuff, a lot of exterior stuff as we're going to demonstrate here. So let's go and roll into this and I'll show you how to work these presets. So once you've downloaded them from Sleek Lens and you unzip them and get them installed in your Lightroom, you can see them right here as the Sleek Lens Superior Interior Workflow Presets. So I'm just going to expand those. And these look exactly like all the other presets that you would see from Sleek Lens. You have your all-in-ones here, you have your base, and then you start getting into your more uh, custom collections, which are the uh, tone and curve, hue, saturation, and luminance, and color. Uh, you got your tint, your vignette and also some movable lights, which are actually pretty cool, and we'll demonstrate that in another video. Uh, but for this video, I'm gonna go through a simple walkthrough of what I would do to this particular image, as you can see. Uh, it is a uh, exterior images. Like I said, these uh, presets actually do work well for exterior photos, re exterior real estate photos, because they kind of concentrate on a lot of color. And so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do this image is I'm going to actually go down here and not apply a preset just yet. But I'm gonna go to the transform, and I'm gonna auto-correct the, uh, the lines here. So I'm just gonna click auto. And that's going to straighten up some of the lines for me there and make it look a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to go to the uh, lens profiles and make sure that's on. I'm going to enable both of these here. So it just kind of straightens up the image. And now this gives us a really great place uh, to start. So now that I've got a good starting point here, I'm going to go down to uh, the uh, basic corrections here. I'm going to go down to the tone and curve, actually. I'm going to go down all the way to number two, which would be right here. And I'm going to choose the tone and curve number six. And what you can see what that does here is it kind of opens up the shadows a little bit. It actually brings back a little bit more of the sky, which is good, uh, but it doesn't make it too drastic. And this will give us a little bit more room to play with, with a little bit of the further edits here. So now I'm going to concentrate on the color. So I'm going to go back up to the superior interior number one, uh, base vivid boost three. So right here. And you can see it bumps up a little bit of the greens, a little bit of the warmth there, that which is working really well. And then now the, the last main preset that I'm going to apply is the hue, saturation, luminance, and color. And I'm going to choose the uh, perfect sunset number three. So this one right here. And as you can see, it brings back the sky here. It looks really great. It actually puts a little bit of warmth here. As you can see, there's a number three and a number two. And what you can see, the small difference between number three and number two, which I'm going to demonstrate here, is if I click number two, it's a little bit more blue in the sky. But if I do number three, it actually gives it a little bit more magenta in the sky, which actually works pretty well for this particular image because this was taken closer to sunset, even though the sun was uh, on this left side area. Uh, but it still adds a little bit more of the sunset feel to it. So now to brighten up some of the uh, little parts of the trees here and just make them pop a little bit more, as one of our final edits, I'm actually going to grab a brush and I'm going to go to the superior interior um, vividness brush right here and I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to paint over the trees and uh, a little bit of the building so as you can see it kind of adds a little bit more contrast to the trees here and also I'm going to paint over the building and it, what you can see is it adds a little bit more contrast there as well just painting over that and uh, let's let's paint the sign why not so just like that so now you can see the, uh, the, the color is there, the contrast is there. It looks like a very well-rounded image, and it actually represents what this image looked like when it was taken. Let's look at the before and after here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this here, and you can see how drastic of a change that is. This was almost what would probably be considered unusable, <laughs> but we edited it using the uh, superior interior of presets, and we made it into this very beautiful image here that any real estate agent or any uh, uh, designer or any, any architectural person would love to have hanging up in their wall uh, as a representative of what they built. So uh, that's just a one small example of the new superior interior workflows from sleeklens.com for Lightroom. Uh, head on over to sleeklens.com for more information about these workflows. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens and I'll see you in the next video.